Hey everybody, this is Paul, back with uh, G.I. Joe Creo blind bag opening. Um, these are collection two. I found two of these at our Toys R Us, but I didn't find any more. I was hoping to find a complete set. Um, but according to the little code on the bottom, I got two different ones. Don't know who we've got, so we're going to open these up and find out. These are the only two that I have, so whoever I get, uh, it's going to be somebody new for me. So let's take a look. Okay, uh, looking at the color scheme, that's going to be Blowtorch. He was one of the first G.I. Joe figures I ever bought when I was a kid. Um, one of my favorites, too, always. I don't know. I guess there's nothing like your first G.I. Joe. Okay. Let's take ourselves a look. Shannon gave us a, a tip last time around. She's going to help me build this thing off camera because he comes with a lot of parts. But she gave me a tip. She said, best thing to do is attach the legs to the little base to start with. So you can push them down really well. So there's his legs. <laughs> um, she's going she's gonna to help build that one off camera. Um, I know from experience from building Torch, the Dreadnought Torch, uh, that those guys with the, the blow torches and the hoses and stuff, they, they take some effort to build. They come with a lot of different pieces. Okay, we got somebody a little bit more basic. It, here, Tunnel Rat. Now, I'm not exactly sure who he was. He came into the series a little bit later, and I don't know if he was ever in any of the cartoons. I just remember rushing home from school to watch the cartoon. So, but he reminds me kind of of a low light. Yep, I just broke the rule there and assembled the figure without putting him on the base. Now, okay, he has a backpack to put in. Okay, so there's Tunnel Rat. He's got the printing on the front with the pistol. Where's the little backpack? Has a beanie hat. And he comes with a little pack of dynamite which we'll put in his backpack. Hopefully not lit. And I'm going to have to consult the directions here to see how we assemble his weapon. Okay. So it appears that he has that his weapon Okay, that's pretty cool. This is built to look like a sniper rifle. So as you can see, all those little pieces, it made a scope and what looks to be like a sound suppressor. And then he has a bipod to stabilize it while he shoots. Shannon's shooting blowtorch parts all over the place. Sorry. He was built. <laughs> Told you I broke the rule. I put the Oh no, no, we put the legs on his base first. Okay, so there's there's Tunnel Rat's weapon. I like how it stands up by itself. You can just lay him down behind it. And let's see, I got him out of frame. There he is again. His weapon. I'll tell you the little problem with this one is he has a piece that goes over his neck that uh, has his backpack piece and he has that little mask over his face that goes down so his head is pretty loose it's mm. like there's not enough room okay because he has two accessories on his little neck piece okay <laughs> look at that so he has the translucent flame much like torch did although it's a different color uh this is red whereas torches was more yellowish has a good looking flamethrower assembly there with the hose that runs around all the way to the back you can kind of see part of his face in the back there and yeah I can I can see that how his head is just kind of hanging on you can see the full printing on his front there with his uh, chest his flame proof suit and his little mask and face peeking out he is a cool cool figure I love how bright he is and that's that's what attracted him to me when I was a kid and I bought that one. So anyway, there we go. We have two G.I. Joe figures from Wave 2, Creo. 
um, Blowtorch, and Tunnel Rat. Hope you enjoyed this video. Check out our other ones to see the entire collection of Wave 3. And I hope you enjoyed watching, and I'll talk with you later.